we have to talk about Rublev. As much as we love the guy and as much as we love his antics on court, maybe we did cross a line. I think there's two points to make here. And to give you guys some context, Rublev was disqualified. It's been all over the news this past day for possibly swearing at the Lions chair for Lions person. Let me correct myself. A Lions person for missing a call. I think there's two things to point out, which is one, yes, I think it was. I think Rublev finally crossed that line where he gets so angry that his outburst may have caused something. Um, I think it's that intimidation factor and possibly getting someone, getting close to someone and screaming at them and just creating a non-safe environment. And that's been one of the biggest things on Twitter is imagine someone, because technically a lines person and a tennis player are co-workers for a match. They are. And people keep using in a corporate, I would say, a corporate scenario saying that Rublev, imagine they're working in an office and Rublev screams at his coworker and makes them feel uncomfortable, makes them feel unsafe. And he does get pretty close to him. And for that part, I understand. The second part I want to bring up is the fact that uh, another lines person translated what Rublev said to the person that Rublev was yelling at. And from video from a fan that we saw, he's screaming, how can you make this call? How could you see this? Um, so I do not know where Russian was said, and there's been a lot of other players talking about and publicly saying, how is there no VAR type system? How can we not check this? How is there no review portion in the in the tennis world? Because we have it for lines, but when it comes to code of conduct, we have the technology. And I also agree with that. There has to be implemented a system where there has to be reviewable evidence especially with the amount of technology that is in tennis now and accessible to umpires. We have automatic line calling. We don't have VAR. We have instant replays on big screens, but you can't go back and look as the chair umpire to see what the situation was like. I understand that too. Rublev, with his disqualification, doesn't get any points, doesn't get any prize money. will drop out of the top five this week uh, because of his actions. So it's it's a tough one. And it's a little it it's going to be a topic that we're going to be discussing for the next couple couple weeks, maybe months. Indian Wells, Miami are right around the corner and Rublev hasn't said anything after this even well the thing that I'm trying to understand is if Bublik said he wanted to continue does that have any say in what the chair umpire rules on the subject? Yes, I understand that he didn't see anything wrong with it. And he wanted to continue playing and finish out the match because it was 6-5 and they were almost done. The other hand is maybe that doesn't come into a factor that much. It's, it's going to be interesting the next couple of days to see what happens. Whether or not there's gonna there's gonna be a fine, probably in my opinion, but it's gonna be interesting to see what the ATP comes out with, uh, what Rublev is gonna say next. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because this is gonna be this is gonna be in the news cycle for a couple of days, and for us, yes, there's many points of view on it. So let's just see what happens in the next couple of days. Let us know what you thought of the whole Rublev situation down in the comments below.